Hi, I'm Matt Baum, and I'm a product manager with Belden. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to complete the assembly of our FX Fusion SC splice on connector. In the previous videos, we stripped, cleaned, and cleaved our 900 micron fiber. Now we're ready to install the SC splice on connector with the assistance of a Fusion splicer. To review the prepping and cleaving steps, please watch our 900 micron prepping and cleaving videos on our YouTube page. For this final step, we need our prepared fiber with a loaded boot, heat shrink sleeve, and spring, a Fusion splicer, and today we're using Belden's FX Fusion splicer, and then also our fiber stub in the holder. At this point, please be sure to configure your splicer and oven settings for the connector that you're using. Because we're using Belden's FX Fusion splicer, we have pre-programmed in this, on the splicer mode, the multi-mode quick, because I'm doing ohm 3, and then also on the heater mode, an FX Fusion SC connector oven mode. Now, the first step um, after configuring your settings, no matter what splicer you're using, is to load the holder on this side of the splicer. Once that's done, we can load our prepared 900 micron fiber on the opposite side of the splicer and we want to align it so that the end face is just prior to the electrodes. At this point, if you align it incorrectly or anything, because this is an automated piece of equipment, it'll tell you if there's any issues, but we'll go ahead and close the wind cover, and it'll, it'll bring the two fibers together and align them. Then once they're aligned properly, you can hit the set button and I'll go ahead and perform the fusion. And now, once that's done, I'll go ahead and slide up my heat shrink sleeve closer to the splice and open the wind cover. Now, once I open the wind cover, it's gonna do a quick little tensile test. And once that's completed, I can open the holders here. And then I wanna slide the sleeve, the protection sleeve, over the white ceramic part of the ferrule while still having some on the fiber buffer. I'm going to open the oven and drop that into the oven. Close that. Close that and then heat. It will take about 20 seconds to heat and shrink the sleeve on an SC connector. At this time you could be um, working on splicing another, another connector on. I'm going to go ahead and also out of the packaging remove the inner housing and the outer housing and set this aside. We'll slide up the, the boot just so we get closer. Now once that 20 seconds heating cycle is up, the red light will go off and I can pull this out of the oven and be careful because the metal parts can be hot. I'm going to slide that into the boot. And then I'm going to take this inner housing, this white inner housing, and align the circular marking on the metal connector ferrule. Here you can see it's a blue dot with the circular mark on the white inner housing. And here you can see it's a laser engraved part. So I'm going to make sure those are both pointing upward and align them. And then snap the white inner housing onto the boot assembly. You'll hear it click. Then I can take the outer um, housing here and make sure to align it properly with the white inner housing so that it can snap on. You'll hear it click. Now that assembly is done. At this point we have a dust, uh, removable dust cap and we can just <clears throat> trim that extra length off so it's not so long and we have a much shorter and manageable dust cap. At this point the assembly of the SC connector is complete. And those are the steps installing our new SC splice on connector. To buy our splice on connectors, contact a sales representative or find a distribution location near you.